Hey guys, welcome back. Welcome to my show. I hope you like house plants. Cause we're gonna talk about them and touch their leaves. Um, today I have a few fun uh, plants mail things to open. Um, the first is a, another trade I made um, with uh, someone else on the Reddit, the subreddit, take a plant, leave a plant. So that's very exciting. Um, so I've got that. And then I also have a really exciting plant that I managed to buy uh, from someone in a Facebook group. It's a uh, rare plants buy sell trades. I think it's just called rare plants BTS. And um, that's really exciting. It was from a purge post. So they like make a post saying we're going to start a purge at like 9 p.m. Eastern time and then they go into the comments at 9 p.m. and they start just like posting pictures and prices of the plants they're selling and if you're the first to comment on that picture sold then you get it and you um, message them your email and they send you an invoice. So I got a really really cool rare plant that I'm so 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 excited about and I have that to open up. I I'm a little bit concerned because we've been having really nice weather, but today it got really chilly. Like when I woke up, I looked outside and there was like minor snow flurries. Like it wasn't snowing. There just was here and there little snowflakes just floating around in the air. Um, so hopefully all of these plants are okay. So I'm going to go ahead and open up the one from my trade. Um, off of Reddit first. I have um, not I have they sent me some bonus cuttings and then they messaged me and were like oh my god I sent you bonus cuttings of aquatic plants because I got you confused with someone else so if you don't want them please just like give them away or you know something like that or you can even send them back or whatever. And I was like, no, no, I'm really excited. So I, I mean, I'm not 100% sure what I'm going to do with them. But for now, I'm just going to like put them in some water, keep them alive. And um, maybe I can keep them alive long enough until I get to making my shrimp tank in a couple of months. So that's so exciting. Hopefully everything is alive. Okay, so here we go. Oh, wait a minute. Okay, hold on. This is the plant, the rare plant I bought on the Facebook group. And I did buy a heat pack. Did I like read? Oh, my bad. I guess we're opening this one first. <laughs> so, let's see. Okay, it's all like in fluff and stuff. All in fluff and stuff. Like there's no paper or nothing in here. Um... So let's get this fluff off. Oh, wow. Look. Oh, look at that. Oh, it seems like it's good. It's okay. Oh, wow. Look at that. This is an Alocasia Silver Dragon. And I have wanted one of these pretty much since I heard that they were a thing. So this guy's a little misshapen from being in shipping, but there's only, only one of these leaves actually got like folded up and so there's some like mechanical fold damage. The rest of them, I don't see any creases in, in the leaves at all. Look at that. Like, can you even? The first time I saw this, I was like, that doesn't look like a real plant. It's crazy. I also, I didn't know the backs were so beautiful. Look at the back. It's got like burgundy stripes on like a light green back of the leaf. No one ever shows the back of the leaves in the pictures because <laughs> the front of the leaves are so striking, but it's like... That's a bonus. It's beautiful. It's absolutely beautiful. Wow. 
All right, let's get the, the plastic off of here. Okay. It's gonna make kind of a mess. Let me try to open it over the box. Okay, and then they've got paper towel around the top. Oh, look at that. Oh, there's like, holy moly. There are three new growth points on this bad boy. There's one right there. There's one right there. And there's one right there. Wow, this is a healthy plant. Oh, I hope I can keep it that way. I'm so freaking excited to have one of these. Just look at how beautiful that is. I can't get over it. I can't get over it. I, ah. <sighs> um, let's see. This was $80. Okay. $80. And that included shipping, which is really actually very good because it came from California. Um, and then I paid $5 for the heat pack. So I paid $85 and that's it. <laughs> so, and this is a really nice, healthy plant. In the picture he posted, so you, he posts a picture of the actual plant. So when you comment sold, you're, you're buying the actual plant. And in the picture, I think he took the picture like from this angle. So it looked to me like there was only four leaves, but there's actually six leaves on here. I mean, I expect to lose like this, these little baby ones that were, you know, a little bit more delicate. They, I might lose those, but, but this is, I'm pl pleased as can be tickled pink. This looks like freaking dinosaur skin and it feels how I imagine a dinosaur would feel like. So <laughs> I love it. I love it. Heck yeah. All right, so now we'll now we'll open my um my trade box. I don't know. I guess I just assumed the the larger box would be the silver dragon. Whatever. Alrighty. Oh. Oh. That's so sweet. They wrote a little note in the top of the box. Thank you for the first trade. I included an extra Marble Queen Pothos and some Aquatic Crips. That is so sweet. She is so sweet. Okay. Oh my gosh. Wow. Okay, so this is what I actually traded for. Um, uh, Sansevieria cylindrica. Um, I really like this plant. I'm not usually a big fan of Sansevieria, but my living room, it only has like a northern and a western facing window and the TV's in there. So a lot of times the, the blinds are closed. So there really is not very much light in there. And the only plants that seem to do okay in that room are Sansevieria. So I've been trying to get more um, I really don't like the ones that have any yellow on them at all. I actually don't like the color yellow very much. Um, I think that plants that have yellow on them look, they just look at a glance like they're sick and not healthy. Um, but that's just me. That's, that's my um, personal preference. I know a lot of people love yellow. They love plants with yellow variegation. And um, I fully 100% support people who like the plants that I don't like because it means that we have a more diverse plant community and that is always a good thing. Um, so, but this guy is cool. I have always liked the cylindrica. It's just like, they're round. <laughs> There's like little fingers and it cracks me up. Okay, so this is gonna age me quite a bit, but does anyone remember the salad fingers? <laughs> video that used to be online salad fingers i like to touch rusty spoons that's what this reminds me of salad fingers and that's what i'm gonna call it okay and there's actually two cuttings in here so i have two i have two two hands with salad fingers um, 
my husband is like a really tall lanky guy and he's got like really long skinny fingers <laughs> i mean i i think it's you know adorable i love his long skinny salad fingers but i call him salad fingers all the time <laughs> Yeah, but he like tries to keep his hands out of photos because he hates the way they look, which is just like, embrace your salad fingers, dude. You could be like the next Slender Man or whatever. Anyway, so this is the plan I actually trade for, and it's in really good shape. I am worried. It is. It's. They feel cold. <laughs> I'm a little worried. But the last time I received plants that felt cool to the touch, they turned out to be okay. So I don't know. It does really bum me out that the day I was expecting to receive two plants, it suddenly got frigid again. Heck in Wisconsin. Oh, here's a little piece of Marble Queen. <laughs> I'll probably just put it in with my other Marble Queen. Actually, no, I'll put it in some water and put it somewhere cute. Just like it's a little decorative guy, so cute. Little Marble Queen Papa's cheddar? No. Stay away from my silver dragon. Now the aquatic plants, like, oh my god. I don't even know. I don't even know what to do with these. This is, I'm assuming these are the crypts. And I can't remember the full name. It's like, crypts. Uh, I'll look it up and I'll put it on the screen. But the crypts is like the short term phrase for it. But she put it in this bag with water. It didn't leak. There's no water in here, which is amazing. And then this is really cool. She put in two kinds of moss too. Um, so here's an aquatic moss. I don't know what these are. I've seen them in aquascaping videos, but I don't know for sure what they are. And then here's a different one. So that is really cool. I think I'll just plop some sand in like I have like this tall glass thing I might just plop some sand in there and then put these put these guys in there and just see if I can keep them alive <laughs> I mean that's so cool I've been wanting to like you know play around with aquatic plants and so um yeah that's pretty freaking awesome oh I'm very happy so I've got aquatic plants to play around with and I'll hold up my like two actual plants again. So I got my Sansevieria cylindrica and my beautiful Alocasia silver dragon. Unbelievable. Today was a good plant mail day. I'm feeling loved. I'm feeling planty. <laughs> All right, guys. So listen. I tried so hard to get video of this G dang desk aquarium and I took like five videos in different kinds of lighting and everything looked fine until I would put it in the video editor and then it would just be totally washed out and you couldn't see anything. So here's a picture of it. I didn't have aquarium sand but I just had some random sand so I put that in there and this is in a one liter beaker. And I tied the moss to a couple of small rocks with some thread. Um, and so as the moss grows, you won't be able to see the thread anymore. And the rocks keep the moss down at the bottom of the aquarium. And then I have the two kinds of crypts in the back. Everything is looking really great and staying alive. <laughs> I've been doing a 50-50 water change every day with filtered water, so I have been very carefully pouring out half the water and then very carefully refilling it with filtered water each day. Everything is happy and healthy and looking pretty good. I had a super, super duper fun time making this little aquarium, and it's making me want to do a whole lot more aquascaping. So. Playing around with aqua plants is going to be in my future for sure. So uh, thank you so much for watching. Have yourself a real nice day. And be good to yourself. Be good to the plants. And be good to the animals. Bye-bye. Thank you for tuning in. I hope you liked my plants. 
Go and have yourself a real nice day, and I'll see you next time.